Hey everyone, welcome to my video review of LG 24MP59G 24 inch monitor that possesses few exciting features especially for gamers who are on limited budget. First thing, it's an IPS panel display with a 75Hz refresh rate which is slightly faster than the conventional 60Hz model available at this price range. So users desiring a mixture of good color accuracy and better refresh rate will appreciate this. And the second main attraction is the inclusion of freezing technology to reduce the tearing effect occurring in fast paced scenes that is when the monitor's refresh rate and the PC's frame rate go out of sync. And you should own an AMD graphic chip to enjoy this option. And the last feature LG's 1 millisecond motion blur reduction mode for further enhancing your gameplay experience with minimal blurring. Keep in mind this mode doesn't work in conjunction with FreeSync option. 1080p on 24 inch screen size results in a moderate pixel pitch size of 0.27 mm which is the distance between each individual pixel and pixel density is quite decent at 93 ppi that is 93 pixels per inch. So texts or any content produced on the screen will be reasonably sharp when viewed at certain distance. The actual response time is 5 millisecond grey to grey and 1 millisecond motion blur reduction mode doesn't match a true 1 millisecond response time present in the faster TN panels. And I believe hardcore gamers must be aware of this. It uses a 6 bit IPS panel which is standard in most budget models and supports 16.7 million color shades but covers only 72% of NTSC color gamut. As a result, this monitor is not suited for professionals who demand perfect color representation but to regular users or those who are coming from the poor TN display will see a tremendous difference in color quality by choosing this model. Inside the box, we get a HDMI input cable, a plastic clip that fits behind the monitor stand for managing the cable clutter and a power adapter. The power circuit is built outside of the monitor and the monitor draws its power using this external power brick. The matte coated V-shaped stand looks sleek and modern with red accent running around the borders. And the base portion is metallic and occupies a small footprint when the monitor is placed on the desk. The screen height from the desk surface is adequate for most users and I remind here this model lacks eye adjustment feature. Apart from the elegant design, the stand also holds the screen firmly without causing any serious wobbling when subjected to moderate vibrations. The stand allows only adjustments for back and forward tilt. The entire body construction is made using plastic. The frame surrounding the screen is glossy finished and most part of the rear panel is done with matte surface. The monitor looks absolutely slim when looked at side or top angles due to the use of external power circuit. And with its beautiful stand design, the monitor offers a stylish appearance when placed on the desk. The overall build quality is just average and you should avoid moving it around very frequently. Anyway, we can't complain on it given this price point. This model doesn't sport thin bezels or zero frame design elements and a thick plastic frame surrounds the screen and makes it unsuitable for multi-monitor setup. The screen surface is coated with hard matte finish that effectively cut the reflections when used under harsh light conditions. At the same time, it eats away some of the color vibrancy contrast level and also affecting the text quality which is not the case with glossy surface. LG placed all the IO ports facing towards us instead of downside and is very easy to reach when connecting the cables. It comes with a VGA input, a single HDMI input, display port and a 3.5mm audio out jack. This model lacks two essential features which may be disappointing for some potential buyers. First one, it doesn't have all mode option. As you see here, no visa holes present at the rear panel. And the second one is the absence of integrated speakers which you may use it in emergency cases. On screen settings menu is controlled through this single joystick button placed under center bottom bezel. Buttons give good feedback when navigating 
and the menu system is quite simple to use and within few minutes you can take complete control over the monitor. But I had one question keep asking myself about this single joystick approach. How long will it survive if used frequently? And then LG's own tagline comes before me. Life is good, so let's hope for good. The down face power button glows in white color after powering on and is not distracting even in a complete dark room. You can completely turn it off using the on-screen menu if you still feel disturbing when watching movies. When you dig inside the menu, you will notice a lot of gaming enhancement options to so different type of game genres. And this black stabilizer mode is really a worthy option as it significantly brightens the dark areas of a scene and is very useful while gaming or editing photos and videos to bring out more details from the dark portions. The LG's split screen feature is definitely worth noting here as it immensely enhances multitasking and switching between windows is considerably reduced when using this option. It's really a solid feature which I'm sure you will start loving it once you begin using it. Out of the box, colors are mostly accurate with right amount of saturation and delivers good image quality. It doesn't demand better color calibration from user side unlike the VA monitors. But I noticed a high blue tint when screen is filled with white color and white shades seems more bluish due to this. I corrected it to some extent by lowering the blue value in the user preset option. I used gamma setting set to option 1 as it produced a well balanced image. After using BenQ's EW2775 VA monitor for few months, I immediately felt the content produced on this IPS monitor to be less brighter. I greatly missed the deep contrast ratio and rich black levels of the VA panel. Each IPS monitor will exhibit certain amount of backlight leakage known as IPS glow which is much evident when viewing dark content in a dark environment. Viewing angles were excellent as you expect from an IPS monitor and colors are consistent at all angles. There will be some contrast loss when viewed at extreme angles, but still color stability is maintained at all sides. The maximum brightness of LG 24MP59 is only adequate and at times the display feels less brighter when used in strongly lit room. 1920 by 1080 resolution on 24 inch size is quite adequate in pixel density and you won't spot individual pixels when you maintain certain walking distance. And the text reproduction of this model at default scaling is not too small or overly large. Games looks gorgeous with more accurate colors on this IPS panel. And combined with 75Hz refresh rate, it gave a smooth, stutter-free experience. I didn't notice any serious input lag or ghosting in my entire gaming session. Users who prefer good color reproduction over fast refresh rates can happily grab this monitor. But this model is still far away from butter smooth gaming experience provided by a 144Hz monitor. FreeSync was a great addition to this model and gave judder free gameplay by perfectly matching the frame rates of my RX570 GPU to the monitor's refresh rate. In this free demo video, which is released by AMD, shows us the benefit of FreeSync option. With FreeSync off, you can notice the jaggy edges in the windmill blades and the moving red bar and even amplifies more once the speed increases. With FreeSync on, those jagged edges entirely vanishes and the moment was completely stutter free. I know it's odd for my camera to capture the actual result. So please take my words, the difference is very much noticeable after enabling FreeSync. And please don't mind about the ghosting effect it's due to my camera and not actually happening in the real. This model does not use pulse width modulation method at all brightness levels. And the screen is flicker free until we enter the 1 millisecond mode. The screen flickers badly once we enable the RTG or blur reduction mode. So gamers who are sensitive to such flickering should make a note of this. Coming to conclusion, well the LG 24MP59G is a decent buy for regular users and budget gamers and offers a lot for the money with many useful features 
especially the free sync and split screen feature. But still, 75Hz refresh range may seem bit slower to hardcore gamers, but budget gamers still appreciate it as driving 1080p at 75Hz is not too taxing for a budget gaming system. And here are the some of my concerns with this model. First one, the display is not very bright and also lacks HDR option. 1 millisecond blur reduction mode adds a lot of flickering to the screen which may cause eye strain to some users. And finally, the color temperature is not accurate even after the adjustment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave your suggestions queries in the comment section and I am ready to answer it.